Okay guys, today we are going to learn about insertion sort. We are going to learn this insertion sort from this exercise. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. After you download the insertion sort, you will have this file, hmm, this ugly file, insertion sort question minus your name you do the right click yeah because it's your name here it's not your real name so right click and rename this insertion sort question and replace it with your name and let's say here i'm going to put my name okay now double click it and this Microsoft Word document is opening. Here you see double your name, double click me, five red or five gray, and the year. Double click it, and you can replace it with your name. Then, and then you can choose five red or five gray. Here I'm going to write down five black. Then since I'm not in the five red or five gray. Okay, now the next step is you save the file. Don't forget to save your work. Okay, control S or file save. Okay, now you need to do this insertion sort in these steps. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Step five, okay? I need you to show the steps. It's not just the answer because I need to know the steps, whether you are showing the answer in the insertion sort or not, or you are using the other type of sort, such as selection sort or bubble sort. There are three types that we are going to learn in this term. Now, how to do the insertion sort? To pick up these dots, okay, you need to do step by step, okay? You need to pick the first one and then you have to pick the second one and you have to pick the third one in order. You just cannot pick this one and then the second pick will be this one. No, you cannot do that. You need to pick this one as your first one. Okay, so here, if you want to pick this one, copy paste is okay, or you can add this one. Okay, right click, insert rows below. Then you got this. Why I do this, okay, later on you can delete this one. The extra row okay right click whoops right click insert row below you see this one you can delete it or you can leave it okay i don't mind so i'm going to copy this whoops copy this copy and paste here. Control C is for copy, Control V is for pasting. You see, this question should not be touched. It should remain untouched. But we can touch here this ones. Okay, these ducks, these cute ducks. Okay, the first pick should be this one. A. You, you have to pick A as the first one. It's the demand. You pick it and you put it here. You put at the center. Okay. The first pick. This is insertion sort. You insert later on. Okay. So you need to read the first one. Okay. Before you. I'll return this one first. You need to do the insertion sort. Not the other sort. And then you should put. The biggest to the smallest, so the left side will be 
the biggest and the right side should be the smallest. This one is the sending. And if it's ascending, it's from smallest at the left side. And the right side is the biggest. But this one, the left side is the biggest. Okay, now we are going to pick the first one is A. We put it in the center. This is how insertion sort do. Pick the first one, put it at the center. And then the second step, you copy this one. And then you have to pick b as the second as your second pick and then you compare this one a is b bigger than a is b bigger than a if it's not then it goes to the right side if it's bigger you then the this b if it's if B is bigger than B has the right to be in the right uh, left side. Bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. Okay. Then the next step. Okay. You need to pick C. Picking C. Is C bigger than A? Okay, the answer is no, C is smaller compared to A. So C should go to the right side. This is the smaller. If it's smaller, go to the right side. If it's bigger, go to the left side. Is C bigger than B? Yes, C is bigger than B. So C, C supposed to be in the left side of this B. So B is going here and C is inserted in between A and B. So this one is too tight, A and B. C comes in between. Whoops. And then this one, A and B is split it because there is something inserted in between. So C is inserted in between so b is moving to the right now this one copy it and then d is d bigger than a yes d is bigger than a so you pick it and you put it here now you copy this one put it here okay now this one, E, is E bigger than D? If it's, if it's E bigger than D, then E supposed to be in the left side. No, E is smaller than D. E is also smaller than A. Is E smaller than C? Yes, so E goes to the right. Is E smaller than b yes so it goes to the right side of the b okay whoops so e goes to the right side of the b now the work is done. This is your first question is already answered. Okay, now you can also do for this one and this one is smallest to the biggest. It's just the same. Okay, example. Here, I'm going to select all of it, right click and insert. Wait. Click it in the empty space here, right click and insert. 
rows below. This is just for temporary. Of course, you can remove this if you want to. Right click, delete cell. If you don't want to remove it, it's also okay. I don't mind. Okay. Now, you have to pick the first one is A. So A, you put it in the center. Remember, this. now you are going to do smallest to the biggest. So it's if it's small, smaller, smallest, biggest. So it's if it's smaller, go to the left. If it's bigger, go to the right. Okay. Now, this one you copied it and then smallest. Okay, comparing B compared to A. Is B smaller than A? Yes. So B. Wait, 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 wait. I need to copy this first. The question should remain untouched. Okay, so A is here. So B. Is B smaller than A? If it's smaller, go to the left because I want to sort smallest to the biggest. And then this one, I copy for the steps. Uh, B is gone. C. Is C smaller than B? Guys, answer me. Is C smaller than B? No, C is bigger. So, bigger should be on the right side of A. Okay, now comparing to A. Is C smaller than A? No. C is in between B and A. So, from this two comes C. So, this one split it because it's inserted. So, this one is moving here. And C comes in between. Okay. And the next step is. D. Okay. Comparing D. To B, C and A. Is D smaller than B? No, it's bigger. So it moves to the right. Is D bigger than C? Yes, D is, should be on the right side. Is D bigger than A? Yes, so you can put it here. Next step. Now, for the last one, whoops. For the last one to put, please remember the size, okay? So, is E smaller than B? Yes. So, since it was smaller than B, it's supposed to be on the left side of the B. So, we move it here. Whoops. Move it here. Move it. Move it, ducky. Then put it here. So, you are all done. Okay. This is all already sorted. See? From smallest to the biggest. Now, I want you guys not just answering this one, but then you need to answer the rest of the questions. This one is number four. Number four. Number five. It's in numbers, you see. Now, it's just the same with the picture. First, right click, insert rows below. So, the question should remain untouched. 
Now, you need to pick this one as the first, put it at the middle, and then this one you need to read, biggest to the smallest. Biggest should be the right side, smallest should be in the left side. So, is 2 bigger than 6? Okay, since 2 is smaller than 6, it's supposed to, so it should move to the right side. The right side is the bigger side. Now, picking 8. Is 8 bigger than 6 and 2? Yes. Bigger than 6? Yes. You should put it here. Then, the next one. 10. Is 10 bigger than 8? Yes. Then you put it here. Copy, paste. Now you are picking 7. Is 7 bigger than 10? No. Move to the right. Is 7 bigger than 8? No. 7 moving to the right because it's smaller. Is 7 bigger than 6? Yes. So you need to move this and put and insert 7 here. Okay, guys, you can continue to answer this exercise, and I hope you already understand about this insertion sort. I hope you enjoy my tutorial, and you can press like if you think that I'm cool or not.